The summer heat is here and we know how it impacts our physical bodies. We've reported on that a bunch, but the temperatures can also affect our mental health. So this morning I have Alejandra Galindo with ThriveWorks in Houston joining me live to dig into this. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. So obviously when it gets hot outside, I personally start to notice that I get a little more agitated a little bit more easily. But is there actual clinical research and evidence that shows that the heat impacts our behavior? Yes, absolutely. So the heat actually will increase body temperature mm -hmm. naturally. So think about it as kind of like a body response muscle memory. Mm -hmm. When anxiety increases, our heart rate is pumping and our body temperature naturally will increase. This is very true, especially when the heat outside increases. So your body temperature increases more and more, causing more irritability, more anxiety, whole slew of things. Okay, so that's great information that we can use because listen, I didn't catch an attitude just because I <laughs> wanted to. It's actually, yeah. we're all too hot right now. But we also know aside from the heat, we've got some Saharan dust coming our way. Mm -hmm. And for a lot of our most vulnerable, that means they've got to stay inside. They can't deal with the heat on top of the poor air quality. And so what do we know about how that type of isolation can impact people during the summer? Yeah, absolutely. So with increased isolation, there comes an increase of depression, kind of, especially for those of us who are more extroverted, of course, mm -hmm. right? So when we have to stay inside, whether for medical issues or for personal health reasons and just safety, uh, you want to make sure that you try to reach out to people through other means like social media, phone calls, video chats, and things like that, and just kind of keep up to date yeah. and stay off of like social media, Reddit forums and things like that, that okay. talk about like increased like weather, heat temperature pieces, or things that might just increase anxiety with weather too. You. That's exactly where I wanted to go next because we know even with the upcoming election in November, an issue that is at the top, particularly for young people, is climate change. Talk mm -hmm. about sometimes the anxiety that can come along with letting those thoughts spiral, thinking about mm -hmm. weather and the extreme, uh, the extreme weather with our changing climate. Yeah, so with extreme weather and changing climate, I mean, just the society in general, the way the world is going with increased protests and climate change and everything, mm -hmm. people literally will feel like their world is on fire just watching certain segments mm -hmm. and things like that. Um, and so with the world being on fire, now their actual atmosphere is also on fire. So it feels like they can't escape it and their reality is becoming like more and more real each day. Yeah, so much of this is making so much sense when you actually think about it and break it down. So we've talked about anxiety, we've talked about catching an attitude when it's so <laughs> hot outside, and we've also discussed, you know, just the isolation that you can feel when you can't get out and be around people because of the environment. So what are some things that we can do to kind of empower ourselves and take control of our mental state. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people forget and don't realize that with our thought process, we can choose which thoughts we pay attention to the most. Mm. So the more you focus on the negative pieces, it's going to spiral you more and more, right? And so obviously it's difficult to go from just negative to positive aspects. Um, find something in between, more neutral or more accurate, right? Is it true that the world is going to light up on fire today? Not necessarily, yeah. right? So you want to find something that's more neutral of, hey, today's going to be extra hot. Let me be mindful and make sure we stay hydrated especially For sure. right stay hydrated cooling things and techniques like cold towels over our heads or shoulders um, even just doing deep breathing exercises or focusing on other sensory pieces like sound touch taste that sort of thing and smell okay some really good tools we can have in our toolkits as we continue to deal with this heat we are just at the beginning of summer so it's going to be a long <laughs> couple of months alejandra thank you so much for being here with us this morning thank you so much for having me and hope everyone stays cool out there absolutely okay.